we have a goal of $100,000 to be able to start this foundation. Now, what I want to say, guys, is that um, there's a lot of people that are asking a question about, well, Mr. Latois, why do you need money to start a foundation? Or why do you need money to take your Shahada? But I want my Shahada to be meaningful. Wow, that was so suspect. Way of Life SQ, keeping it 100. Straight into the camera right here and say your Okay, assalamu alaikum welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so today for thank from Humboldt. Welcome back and thank you for watching my video. I thank you for watching our video. That's it. Say it too. Come here. You can say it as well. Okay? Say it. Okay. Say it. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Good job. Wave Life family, welcome back. And today, today, today. Hey, yo, squirt, 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 squirt. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do my best impression of him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him and bless you guys all. The title of this video is absolutely correct. Is this famous YouTuber scamming Muslims and taking them for a ride? If you don't know already, uh, Mr. What, 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 Mr. What, 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. May Allah bless you, my bro. Um, uh, is a reactionary YouTuber. He does reaction uh, videos. Um, and um, he's done a lot of reaction videos to like Islamic content. Okay. And first and foremost, let's pause right here. Can we just celebrate that fact? Can we just celebrate the fact that someone is reacting to Muslim and Islamic content? I think that's pretty dope. Another thing is he's actually done a reaction to video to mine. So I'm not going to have a bias in this video, but I do appreciate uh, the love I got from him uh, and uh, him reacting to my video. It was, it was actually really, really awesome. So I appreciate you, my bro. Okay, but here's what the video is actually about. If you haven't heard already, a lot of people have been sending me this information uh, about this, uh, this, this brother of ours um, who's saying that he's starting a Shahada foundation, right? And he's going to take a Shahada after he has raised $100,000. $100,000! dollars okay um that was a million dollars from austin powers come on now you should know the references um that he's going to take his shahada after he's raised a hundred thousand dollars for his uh what what you're gonna kill me i'm so sorry it's a tongue twister try it at home what what's up what what's what, what? Uh, okay I'm sorry, this is no disrespect, okay? I do my research before I make my videos, but I've, I was, well, I was struggling to say this name. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's get back to this video, okay? Um, that he's going to take a Shahada once he has a hundred thousand dollars in donations. Um, and, 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 and he wants to start this foundation to help other people take their shahada as well. And a lot of Muslims are upset about that fact because they think that it is a scam. They think that, uh, you know, he's just trying to raise money to take a shahada. But, you know, why are you trying to take a shahada with raising money? Why can't you just take a shahada anyways? And why do you need $100,000 to do this? And, uh, and people are sending me links that, oh, he has multiple names, bro. He has multiple Facebook profiles, bro. Uh, and this man's a fraud, man. He's doing all these things. He makes this much money from YouTube. First of all, is get out of his business. Get out of his business, you know what I mean? As a Muslim in Islam, we are taught to not spy on people. SubhanAllah. Look at that wisdom from Allah. Don't spy on people and don't approach situations with doubts. Meaning, don't approach situations being suspect about a person. You know what I mean? If you're suspect, that's you. But don't assume suspectism, that's what I made up that word, about a person. You know what I mean? You can't do such a thing. And a lot of you are already saying that this brother is a fraud, but you don't have any... Okay, one, I'm not suggesting that he is, but you guys are. And that's honestly a disease in your heart. Because if you personally feel that way, don't donate. But why is it that you're hell-bent? I love using that word hell-bent, by the way. I've used it a lot in a lot of my videos. Um, why are you so hell-bent? Why? on trying to expose someone for being a fraud or making other people believe he's a fraud. Y'all don't even, people don't even know this man is and what he wants to do, yet you're already portraying him as a fraud. That's problematic and that's not from Islam. Okay, next thing you know. This brother is trying to accept Islam. He's going to revert to Islam, inshallah. Okay, here's the thing. What sort of impression are you giving him about Islam when it comes to you calling him names already? Mr. what Wata? My beloved bro, I'm used to it. Look at me. Look at me. Look how I dress. Look how I speak. I'm used to it, right? And I, I hope, I hope your feelings haven't been harmed or hurt from our Muslim brothers and sisters. My beloved bro, what you have to understand is that we are immature people. 
We don't know how to deal with conflict. We don't know how to sit down and have conversations with people. We're immature people. And this is not a reflection of our religion. This is just a reflection of how immature that we can be. Okay, Islam does not support causing, calling you a fraud or labeling you or deeming you a fraud, especially without any evidence. I can understand if you've done, you know, fundraisers and all these things before and where's the money at, bruh? But you don't have anything like that and I apologize on their behalf, okay? Um, but as, as, as Muslims, we need to be a little bit better, right? We, I get comments from you guys, especially from my video from yesterday over here about sleeping with a prostitute, right? Uh, excuse me, you're clickbaiting us. <laughs> I'm not, but I'm going to leave that for another conversation. I have another video coming about that. But that's the video right over here. What did people say? Check them out. Don't believe me. Check it out. People in the comment section, bro, change the title. Because if a non-Muslim comes and view this video, they're going to be like, oh, they see this title. Oh, Muslims are sleeping with prostitutes. Is that what's happening over there? You're more concerned about what a non-Muslim thinks. Yet there is a non-Muslim who wants to accept Islam, and this is how you treat him. Come on, bro. Chill with the hypocrisy. Chill out. The truth is that we have problems within our communities. We have problems within ourselves. I'd rather be authentic and call them out because when we call out these problems, that's when we can actually solve the issues. But a lot of you just want to look the part and be like, Islam is just perfect religion. It is perfect, but you and I are not. And we have to acknowledge this. For us to get better as people, as Muslims, we have to acknowledge our shortcomings. And one of our shortcomings are, is that we fight amongst each other. Sibling rivalries, we fight amongst each other a lot. And it's destroying the Ummah. It is. So I want, this is a message to everyone out there who's calling him and labeling him a fraud. That is wrong. That is wrong, especially without any evidences, right? A lot of you are pulling straws and all that sort of stuff. And the thing that the brother wants to do is very noble. But I do have some questions in regards to him in case he sees this or some questions that you guys should be thinking about as well too. My beloved bro wants to start this foundation at a specific amount of money, okay? Now, you and I are thinking, why do you need that amount of money? And in his video, which I'll also link over here, um, he mentions all the things that you need, okay? So, Mr. What, 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 Mr. What, what? Okay, I'm gonna call you Mr. 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 What? I don't know. I'm gonna just say Mr. What. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm I'm trying. I'm trying. Mr. What? I would actually, right? I think the Muslim Muslims uh, would probably appreciate the if there was more transparency on your end, right? Maybe you put a, maybe you make another video, and you put the list of all the expenses that were re required to do all these things. Okay, a lot of people are worried because we've been burned in the past. We've been burned in the past by people who pose to be Muslims and take, you know, take Muslims for a ride. Honestly, I'll link that video over here too. It's a classic. It's, a, it's an oldie but a goodie. You know what I mean? Um, so maybe more transparency. How much money is required? Step by step by step. Maybe walking us through the process. I think that would allow people to trust you because you know what? A hundred thousand, even a thousand dollars that you've raised already is a lot of money. And I think that you're sincere enough to acknowledge that. Okay. <clears throat> Next thing. You're saying it's like a Shahada foundation. Okay. Um, do you plan on like using like Islamic material to educate and give da'wah to people? Like are you are you going to like, <clears throat> excuse me, go to like the, hit the streets and give da'wah to people? Like how do you plan on educating people? What source of material do you plan on using to educate people to help people take the Shahada and revert to Islam, which I think is a noble cause? Maybe you, you talk just about that as well. And if you don't have an answer to these questions, that's okay. Figure it out and get back to us. Okay, um, you know, and, and, and I think that your, your, your cause is extremely noble, okay? But there's, there's a one reminder that I want to give you and myself. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us and teaches us also through the Messenger Sallallahu peace and blessings be upon him, that you should never delay a good deed. You should never delay a good deed or a good act, okay? We all need to acknowledge that Mr. What, that's all I'm going to call him, is trying to earn his sadaqah jariya. And if he doesn't know what that is, he's doing it without even knowing it. He's trying to earn his ongoing charity. Meaning, he wants to earn charity even when he's dead. Even when he's in his grave, he wants to earn the sadaqah, the charity of his ongoing actions and deeds. And he wants us to be a part of it. Whether he knows about that aspect or not, that's what he wants for that. And that is a noble thing. Do not scare anyone from that process who is trying to do that for their akhirah. You and I need to be more mindful of that. And notice, now one time did I not say, oh, but don't judge him. You don't know his intention. No, it's not about that. These are just straightforward questions. And I'm checking you guys as well too and checking myself on how we should behave and interact with this. Okay?
So just some more transparency on these things and that. We should not delay any good actions to come. Taking a shahada is a very good action to do. We know the righteousness of it. We know the deeds of it. We know how the fact that, you know, um, uh, when, when you accept Islam, when you, when you declare and take your shahada, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes all your bad deeds, converts them into good deeds. You're like a brand new born baby. We know all those good things. But Mr. What, I want to give you a scenario that what if you died before the shahada touched your tongue? Between you and me, I already think you're a Muslim. I think you already know that you're a Muslim. You just haven't publicly declared it. But my bro, come on. If I were to ask you right now, do you believe in the oneness of Allah? You'd be nodding your head. Be like, yes, I do. If you're making a reaction video to this right now, Assalamu alaikum guys. Thank you for watching Mr. What and, and my channel too. All that. Don't subscribe. Don't subscribe to me. Honestly, I'm dumb whack. Don't, you don't even want to mess with me, okay? Second thing. Second thing, right? No, no, sweetie. It's not. She thought that I'm doing the outro. Not yet. I'll call you for the outro. I will. She thought I was doing the outro. May Allah bless him. May Allah bless him. Do you believe that there's nothing worthy of worship except Allah and the oneness of Allah? No. Oh, that's beautiful, Mini John. Why don't you go back now, okay? Do you believe, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you believe in the oneness of Allah? You would be nodding your head and saying yes with a beautiful smile of yours, yes. Okay, do you believe that Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, is the servant and messenger of God? You'd be like, absolutely, come on now. Do you believe that Jesus was sent by God and not is God? Absolutely, we know that. All the messengers of God were sent by God to teach people how to worship God correctly. Yes, the answer is yes. If you nodded your answer to all those things and nodded your head and smiled with that beautiful uh, smile and that awesome headband of yours, which I want, by the way, send me the merch. All right? <laughs> that means you're a Muslim. You might not have declared it, but in your heart, you already are a Muslim, okay? I would argue that maybe if you were to declare, you know, like, uh, 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 take your shahada now, you would be already the first person under your brand, under your uh, Mr. What Foundation, and I'm not saying what, what, uh, what uh, okay, that foundation to take your shahada. So you would already be the pioneer in that, okay? So I think that that would also allow more credibility for you to raise more money. And I want to be clear right now. I am going to be a donor. I am going to donate money to this foundation. Inshallah, I am. Why? Because I trust this foundation and its intention. I personally do. I'm not, I'm not saying you should too. I'm just letting you know that I'm doing that. SQ, don't reveal your good deeds. Here your good deeds. Don't, don't tell good deeds you're showing off. Whatever, bro. Okay? So I'm, I'm telling you right now that I'm going to donate to this. And this is not a video to... You know, like he sent me a DM, doesn't even know me. He reacted to one of my videos, but he doesn't even know me. I'm telling you right now that we need to approach people with more sincerity. We need to assume sincerity. We need to be sincere, but obviously not naive, not naive. And you have to remember something. This brother is a revert or wants to be a revert, right? He already considers himself. I know he's already a Muslim, whatever, right? But for you to put doubts and for you to judge and all that sort of stuff, we need to stop that. That's not the qualities and characteristics of a Muslim. Do you know what the qualities and characteristics that those display? Well, life, I say you'll be ashamed of yourself. I'm going to say it anyways. That's the quality and characteristic of a munafiq. Wallahi. Every time you're trying to expose them, to say bad things about them, and assume negatively of them from the go, especially with no evidence, right? Especially with no, like, he's done this in the past kind of thing. You are displaying the qualities of a munafiq. And if you don't know what a munafiq is, that means a hypocrite. A hypocrite in Islamic terms is that person, right, who pretends to be one way, but actually has a hidden agenda. You're pretending, you look the part of a Muslim, you speak like a Muslim. Heck, you even dress like one. But when it comes to your actions, you're far from the deen. You're far from the deen, and you're bringing people down with you as well. Doubting people, spreading rumors against people, exposing people, trying to cancel people. These are all the qualities of a munafiq, and you guys are better than that. And I believe you were doing it not on purpose. And now that I said that, for those who are sincere, it's striking your heart. For those of you who are not sincere, you probably already closed the video a long time ago and just said I clickbaited you. Good job. This is Islamic advice. These are reminders from Allah Azza not from me. Okay? So if you made it to the end of part of this, this video, that means Allah wanted your ears to hear this. If you clicked out at some other times, you did not have the benefit of hearing to this part. So please, assume the best in this brother. And if you don't want to support, okay, don't support with that. You don't have to share his link. But there's no point in going in his comment section and saying, oh, yo, this is suspect. Oh, you're a fraud. 
Wallahi, you're already pushing him away from Islam before he even entered it. Wallahi. And my, my beloved bro, Mr. What, if, if by any chance these words have hurt you, which I believe they could have and they probably have, I know you're putting on a brave face, but I know you read them. I know it hurts. I've been there. It hurts me till this day. But my beloved bro, patience, patience in this process will allow our ranks in Jannah to be increased. These people don't know. And it is our responsibility to be good role models. I appreciate you all for watching. Uh, if you made it to the end of this video and you thought about subscribing, I'm gonna recommend you don't subscribe because I ain't worth it. Uh, but I would say if you do wanna spend a little bit more time with me, click any of these two videos right here. One of them is best for viewer. One of them is a video that YouTube thinks that you would like and I think that you'll like it as well. Uh, and until next time, I'm out.